Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are seeing that how to customize this default WooCommerce page into this page. Like uh, you can see these tiles and all customization. You can see the how beautiful and simple is that. Uh, if you click on the orders, you can see the in uh, down you can all these orders. So in this video we are seeing that how to build this uh, beautiful simple uh, my account page. And one thing uh, we also see that how to hide these tiles like uh, when user is not login and so we only want to show him uh, login pages uh, or that uh, only login page and when user is lo log like uh, giving the uh, credentials and log uh, login so we want to show the these tiles so if you want to see the examples like uh, copy this uh, link and open in cognito mode and paste this and you can see that we only seeing that login page and registration page when user is login like giving the information and login then he and she can uh, see these tiles so just uh, before starting this video like and subscribe the channel let's start this video now we have in our my account page and you see that uh, it's uh, not a default my account page and uh, for we need to customize this account my account page for that we need to go to our dashboard uh, wordpress dashboard so this is our dashboard and for that we need a one plugin to customize this my account page and uh, for we need to install that plugin for that we need to go to plugins option and after that click on add new plugin and search on cadmus and i already installed this plugin you need to install that and activate that plugin activate this plugin and we are creating a new page uh, we need to design that new page and after that we can integrate uh, that page in woocommerce so we are not touching this account page we are creating a new page and uh, after completing our uh, my account page then we integrate in woocommerce and then delete this current page so it's taking too much time because of internet slow so we already uh, activate this plugin and these are settings uh, we activate all the all these features and for now we need to go to my pages and create one new page we already have my account let's create account so we in a new uh, new page we need to name that account and uh, uh, we need to click on this plus button and you see that some there are features so the cadence blocks uh, already are there you need to use that also so click on row layout and we need a i think we have a one two three four five six so we need a three rows and so click on threes no three okay and for uh, now we need uh, some uh, search the icon so i need us info boxes and uh, now we need to customize these info boxes so for that we need to go uh, yeah so these are uh, in uh, right side if you have seen these uh, options we can customize uh, that options so we have a layout for boxes uh, i i like this one so we are selecting this one and uh, you can select any one uh, according to your i am selecting uh, these left icons and uh, i need to customize this one so first option we have a dashboard so just or uh, enter dash board then we have uh, and we need to customize this uh, container settings so uh, after that uh, this selection uh, we have uh, we have container settings and the asking the container border radius so i need only 
two percent you see this the our border radius are uh, decreases i need two percent you can set accordingly to you i need two percent after that we have border radius uh, border radius is good for edges of these these edges so i need 20 percent is good if you increase or decrease you can uh, it's 20 percent is good or uh, after that you have container background so if you want to change that you can change that if like a uh, red or anything i am not changing white and uh, our color if you like uh, uh, someone's uh, or this box the color will change uh, just i'm applying green one so you can see this one so you can uh, choose your accordingly color i am choosing this like light color green light yeah it's good after that we have uh, our color is there container padding so i am think container padding is good if you launch like publish this page you can see in your new tab so we are not increasing padding because padding is good uh, we need to increase the container box because our content is not going uh, so we need to increase the container width mm. now it's good now edit the text your account does board and update just check this now it's we need to increase these uh, margins uh, for that so we have a container padding we don't need to change this container padding after they had a ma margins so if you want to change the margins you can so be like this we can change the margin accordingly so we are choosing this zero uh, percent now see this update okay so first we need to change the media content so i think we have a i so in media section container box is good so in media section we have a uh, some options like uh, you can choose accordingly we have icons image or so we i need icons so you can choose media also and you can choose the account icons accordingly so uh, i am choosing like uh, account mm, user this is good so decrease the icon size I think 30 it's good yeah 30 is good and after that we have we delete this option and after that we have uh, paddings so if you want to change the padding you can so we need to this one is good 10 is good yeah 10 is good after that we have uh, options of uh, title settings so i need title settings small It's good. Mm, Twenty. Twenty and uh, in hand we need in bold. Padding is good. All these are things are good. Uh, then sec another we have a text setting, and uh, I need text. Some font size is fifteen. It's good. You can change the color of also font family you can change the font family also i am not changing and all these things are good now just update and 
now it's good you can see that uh, so we have other options like uh, all options we have already seen some more settings we don't need all these are settings are good and now we need to paste the uh, links of that so we already has a dashboard so copy this link and paste on this paste this and uh, these are good and yeah all things are good now we need to copy duplicate these icons okay so all these things could copy update dates and see the updates so you can see the all icons are coming after that uh, we need to update the all settings uh, like name and all so i'm changing the all settings for that so you can change the all things uh, all settings accordingly uh, to you uh, i'm skipping this one and you can change that after updating i uh, we can go on next part so just update this section now i updated the all the text so now uh, we need to change the links all all these things so in orders we have a link of orders click on orders copy this link and change this link so you can uh, change the links of all tiles and just update the tiles so last thing is we uh, left that uh, we you can see this uh, we don't have a spacing between this so you can do the from uh, changing the paddings like uh, you click on this uh, section and you can go to all uh, all through the sections like uh, like i want to go these sections so click on section and you can go that and change the padding from here you can change the paddings container setting and padding all these things but i don't want to change that uh, you can change accordingly but uh, if you don't want to change from a padding you can do uh, one more things like uh, add the uh, row layout so just click on this one lay row out and i need three sections just move this section here and just update and refresh this page now you can see all settings are good and you can change you can track these sections from here like this one or this one and you have options from tab and mobile you can see the how look in mobile and tabs you can change the padding accordingly and design accordingly i am not doing that you can change that now we need to uh, WooCommerce short code for to display here. So I need a uh, one more section. Just click this and lay row out and one more section. No, I want here. Sorry. Just delete this section. Remove block. I want here. Just add row layout one section and short code and WooCommerce short code and paste here update you can see this WooCommerce section is coming now we need to hide this section uh, this default higher section for that we need to go to go to our blogs this one short code oh. no. go to layout and custom css so just copy this code so just copy this code woocommerce navigation all these things so you can see this code and update this code update the page and just so you can see that uh, that default section is gone and uh, thing we need uh, uh, we need to hide this this section like uh, when someone is login then we want to show them and otherwise we don't uh, we need a, uh, we want to show a login page so for that we need to go our in this section and 
click on visibility settings and hide from logout user and same as for this one go to visibility settings and hide from logout user just update and if you refresh just refresh nothing is changed and just copy this code and open in cognito mode now you can see that we only see the login page and registration page after user login and that they only then they can see these uh, tiles so that is also finished now we need to in uh, publish this page update and we need to go to our blog page dashboard and woocommerce setting advance and just integrate our page account save so all things are uh, we already done and just refresh this page so you can see the all these things are coming and uh, so we already finished the all these things like uh, first we see how to customize the default woocommerce pages then uh, we integrate the visibility mode like uh, when user is log out so the these tiles are not visible that and if you want to uh, like hide this section uh, these like hello i show and like these default text you can customize uh, these with using the free plugin for that you need to go to plugins and one plugin is there you can customize this uh, my account page more uh, hide this text and you can uh, you can uh, like uh, put your uh, individual tags like customized tags uh, so click on new add new pl plugin and search store customizer and install this plugin this plugin is very useful for woocommerce pages you can customize the uh, checkout page all these pages so if you want to uh, one separate video you can comment on down and i can make a uh, in uh, separate video for this but you can use this plugin and customize more useful like you can customize the my account page more like uh, you can hide these uh, tags and you can put your individual tags all these things and if you like this video please like and subscribe and share with others uh, thank you so much for watching this video